So we're going to set up your PCP pump. When you open it, you will normally just see the main actual cylinder and the base of the pump inside your box. You'll also have the handle, the gauge, your fill whip, some spares for servicing, and a spanner. I normally recommend, don't bother using this, an adjustable is just as good. Firstly, take the main unit out and open the feet up. Where they're going to fit the gauge. This just screws into the nylon fitting in here. Make sure you don't cross the threads. As tight as you can hand ways. You shouldn't need a spanner to fit this, however, sometimes they do leak within there, so you may need to just snip that up with your tool. Next is fitting your fill whip. Normally cut this off, of course. That fits straight into this unit here. That does need to be tightened with your spanner just to avoid any leaks as there isn't a bonded o-ring on these. Once that's all tightened up we're then going to fit the actual main handles. Sometimes the screws come already pre-fitted, other times they are in the bag. It's pretty obvious which ones they are, they are the longer anodized black bolts. And the Allen key for them is in the bag with it. However, that may sometimes not be there. At this point, you should have an Allen key set at hand. We're going to bolt this onto the top of the unit. Make sure, again, not to cross-thread them. Tighten it all the way down. It doesn't matter which way you go in terms of the positioning of the handle. Once that's all done, we're going to do a quick test of the pump. So, to test it, we're going to lock off the bleed valve at the back, make sure that's tight. Inside the little bag, you'll have a test plug. That plugs into your end foster fitting. Actually, choose the test plug. Like that. Test plug into the foster fitting. We're just going to do a quick up and down, remember, dead bottom to dead top. So, dead top, dead bottom. So that is holding pressure, there's no leaking anywhere. If it does leak from anywhere, again, tighten up those key areas where we spoke about. If it's leaking out the back, your bleed valve isn't closed. Don't just then eject this, otherwise that becomes a projectile. You need to open the bleed valve on the back. To release the pressure within the line you can then remove that and that's all sorted <laughs>